Hey, I'm Dave here with Soul Home. We are in La Jolla, California at one of our recent projects that we're working on. Let's check it out. So this is a whole house remodel we're doing. So the only thing we left really were the studs and the roof sheeting and, uh, oh yeah, the chimney was there too, but we actually put that nice brick veneer on there. Um, we actually re just redid the roof and there is of course an awesome solar system on the back side of it. Obviously we're gonna do all new stucco and has all new plumbing, all new wiring. And actually I'm really excited about some of the wiring I wanna show you today about some of the low voltage solutions we're doing for the lighting in particular. All right, so something again that's unique to us and new to us is low voltage whole home lighting and fans as well. So I wanna talk about that a little bit. Um, the, these are the fixtures in particular. So normally, you have your 120 volt circuits. These are standard Romex circuits, right? For the, for the convenience outlets in the house. And you would use this same wire for all the lighting as well. And you know, I'm actually building my house and I plan on doing a, a 48 volt battery bank to power my house through inverters and basically using the grid as a backup. And I said, you know, it seems silly that each light has its own little transformer in it or a rectifier to bring the 120 volt line voltage to 48 volt or whatever nominal volt DC for the LEDs in every light throughout the house. I thought there would be a, there's gotta be a better way where it seems like a little redundant to have to convert the power at each fi fixture. Whereas, you know, if I wanna run my house off say a 48 volt nominal battery system, why not just have them all connect to that battery system so there's no conversion losses going from DC to AC, then back to DC at each fixture. Uh, so it turns out there is a company that's already doing that and they're called ATX LED. They're out of Austin, Texas, hence ATX. Uh, the owner there, his name is Murray. Great guy, super helpful. And he actually helped us design this system for this house for our clients. So it's the first one we're doing. I'm really excited about it. The clients are excited about it. There's a lot of benefits you get with this type of system. Uh, most of which are ease of installation. And I'll kind of talk about that a little bit. And also it's gonna be more efficient for a few different reasons, the low voltage and the, the ability to dim everything uh, really well and be able to control that dimming. And that's another big benefit of the low voltage systems is that you can control the dimming perfectly. Where with line voltage dimmers, where you're going from a dimmer on the wall to you know, a particular driver in the ceiling to the, you know, when you're going DC back to AC and back to DC, the dimming can be a problem. It can, it can flicker, it doesn't dim the whole way. And I'm sure a lot of you with uh, dimmable LEDs have experienced that. So this system solves that as well. I actually have a couple of the ATX LED fixtures here with me. Um, so this is actually the driver. So it looks like a switch, um, but it does so much more than just a regular switch. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, and this is the actual bulb itself. You'll notice you have two sets of positives and negatives. Uh, and you'll notice you have two sets of colors. One is 5000K and one is 2700K. So you actually are able to tune the color. These are tunable white fixtures from more of a warm to more of a cool. And this is also programmable so you can tune it throughout the day if you wanted and to. And I also like how well he designed this fixture. Uh, he's got these Vago style connectors on here. If you're American, we usually pronounce it Wago. Pretty sure it's Vago uh, if uh, you're from, the, uh, from Germany where they're made. But uh, lever nuts, right? So easily connectable. And the huge benefit of doing a 48 volt system like this is that you can wire, you can wire all of the lighting throughout the house with thermostat wire <laughs> instead of using Romex. I mean, this is just huge. And so what we use is a 18.5 thermostat wire. So there are five, five wires in here and one is the ground, of course. Uh, we have two for power, positive and negative, and then two for communications. So these communicate. So there's a website portal can go through and program the entire system. Um, another cool thing, and these are ATX LED fixtures. You know, these are his, this is his proprietary driver. And what this allows you to do, not only turn the lights on and off, but you can dim them right here as well. And if you hold this down while you're sliding it, you can 
you can change the tuning of the light. You can change the color of it. They're tunable white fixtures. So you can go from, say, a warm 2700K to a cool 5000K. And he solves this by running two circuits up to the fixtures in the ceiling. Really cool system. So, so this is your, you know, you can see your 2700, and then that's your going to be your warm lighting, and then your 5000. And there's actually two LEDs in here, so it it has it goes through both of those with different ratios of each, and that's how it works. He's got two circuits, one for one side, one for the other, so it's infinitely variable, basically. Um, and we'll have to we'll have to show you that once we get this all lit up. But I wanted to show it while we were still doing the rough in, so you could kind of see the difference in the rough in stage. So another really unique feature to to this type of system is the way that it does the three-way switching or the four-way switching. So this has a N-way connector, N being a variable for anything two, three, four, five, whatever. You got your communication ports in and out here, so it's two wires. And all you have to do is jump this to another switch like this. He has a specific N-way switch, and you would simply daisy chain those together, and you program it to all work the same drivers, so the lights would be connected to this. So that's completely different than traditional wiring, where it's kind of complicated. It confuses people on how to do three-way wiring with travelers or four-ways. It eliminates all that. So all you have to do is literally run some 18-2 wire between each each switch and it all controls the same driver. So what does this all mean as a builder? Uh, it doesn't cost much more than a traditional system. Uh, I think it saves labor. It definitely saves on material for the the wire, you know, for, for the amount of Romex we would have had to have run. That, that would be this, the, you know, the 14 gauge wire. We're running 18.2 to the fixtures and 18.5 between the boxes where the drivers are, right? Uh, yeah, so huge cost savings there, especially if you've got a big home like this. All right, so the, the way that the wiring starts is back, we do have a low voltage panel, a home run panel back in the garage, and we have 10 home runs for this house. So 10 18.5 wires that go and distribute out throughout the house and jump to certain drivers like these throughout the house that then in turn control the lights. So I wanna show you these lights, these light boxes in the ceiling, these rough in boxes, you'll notice uh, he's got his own proprietary boxes, the ATX LED boxes, where if you look inside of them, you can see, it makes it very clear he's got it labeled up and down. So up is the wire coming up from the switch box on the wall, and then down, that actually is gonna continue in series. So this room has six of these recessed lights in here, so it's gonna jump to the next one. And that down is going, going to go in the up on the next one and down into the up on the next one, so on and so forth. So the last one, that down, does come the whole way back to, this, to the, the switch box. And you can reference his, his manuals on how to wire it. So it is a little unique on how you wire it into the drivers. Um, but once you look at it and study it for a little bit, it's really not that difficult. It makes sense. Um, but you're essentially running these lights in, in series. Uh, instead of paralleling lights you normally would, you know, with a Romex uh, system. So that's something a little unique to this, uh, but it makes a lot of sense. So this may look a little strange if you're an electrician seeing basically thermostat wire for <laughs> in all your lighting boxes, but um, our, our installer here, Sean, he's got this all kind of cleaned up ready for us. So um, we yeah, this would be one circuit. So we've got our 18.5 coming in and we have our ups and downs for the lights here and then one dedicated for this room. It does have a fan. Um, and this is actually a, a separate home run, a separate circuit um, that's gonna jump over to uh, actually where we just were. But yeah, I mean, look, just being able to pull this little 18.2 thermostat wire you know, up through your rafters, through your ceiling joists. It's just, I mean, it just saves a lot of labor from wrestling Romex. Not that 14.2 Romex is that difficult, but hey, anywhere you you can get an advantage, you might as well take it, right? And it's just a lot easier to work with it in the box. You know, a lot of times you, you gotta wrestle those wires to get them all to fit. It's just not an issue with these. It's really, really simple. So something really unique. And I'm excited to bring you guys back when the house is done so we can go through the programming of the system and show you how all of the automation side of it works. So you're probably wondering if you're not running your home on 48 volt batteries, how do you power
power this system. Well, back in that low voltage cabinet that we have in the garage in this house, there's actually two 48 volt nominal power supplies that take in 120 volts from the main the main panel and convert that down to 28 volts and that feeds the whole system. So actually only one of those are working at one point in time. There's two to have one for redundancy. So if the first one ever fails, it will actually automatically switch over to the, uh, to the other one within a matter of I don't know, about a half a second or so. I've actually seen it work before. So that's how you power it. So instead of doing that conversion at every fixture throughout the house, you're just doing it once and everything is just native DC from that point on. So if you're interested to see how we might be able to help you with your remodel, you can send us a message, give us a call or visit our webpage at mysoulhome.com.